Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting work using UI path. Today we are going to discuss about triggers. So what mean by triggers? So triggers are basically used to run the bot or run the script in an unattained mode. Okay, so which does not need any human intervention. So triggers are basically classified into two types. One is time based trigger and is queue based trigger. So what mean by time based trigger? So it runs in a scheduled regular interval of time. So which means for every day. So if you want to run the bot at 11 a.m. So it is a time based trigger. So what is mean by queue based trigger? So if a new item is added into the queue during those time, the trigger will start running and the script will start running with the help of queue based trigger. These are the two triggers which has been used in the UI path orchestrator. So we can make a deep dive on each and every concepts. So in today's session, we can just check about time based trigger and how it works. So how to make a time based trigger. Okay. Let me quickly jump back to the studio. Click on save. Okay. So what you can do, so you can just make a simple right line. Okay. Simple right line. So, okay. So you can write line. So instead of that, you can make a message. Why message bug are saying? So it help you to identify the script has been run. So it will show a pop up. If you have gone through our like processes video, you will maybe aware about uh, so how triggers works. So we have given a basic idea in the processes videos. So we can make a deep dive on this particular session. So let me make this message box. Okay, go here. Welcome to UA path. Okay. So just save this. And what you have to do? So you have to set the trigger for this particular process. The main thing, what you have to carry out? So you have to be published to this process first of all. Okay. Then it should be in process tab. Then only we can make a trigger. Okay. So just publish this one. So if you want to change the name, you can change. Okay. So let me change it as time based trigger. Okay. So click on next, next, and then publish. So now it will be published to orchestrator. So we can jump back to the orchestrator and we can check how it has been published. Let for wait for some time. So yeah. So it has been published now. Okay. Let me. Jump to the orchestrator part now. Mm, it is loading, I guess. So wait for it for some times. Okay, perfect. Loaded. So we have added a process, right? Just go to the process panel. Just look for your process. So which is time. Okay, yeah, perfect. So it is there, right? So what you're going to do, so you have to going to set up a trigger, correct? So just go to the trigger panel. Okay. So from here, just go to trigger panel or else you can just go to the home. So anything works here. Okay. So what I've done, so I just clicked in process and then I was moving to trigger or else you can directly click this trigger option and you can make a trigger. So both the things are same. Okay. Pretty much same. So add a trigger. As I said before, there are two kinds of triggers, which is time based, which is queue based. So queue based works when a new item added into the queue, uh, time based trigger. So it will run in a scheduled regular interval of time. Okay. So what are we going to set actually? So let me set time based, time based trigger. Okay. Time based trigger. Okay. Let me name it simple time trigger. Okay. Perfect. Okay, then select the process name. So check for your process. Time based trigger. Perfect. So uh, the next thing, so you have to check the time, time zone. So what is the time zone if you are there? So you can go ahead and check for your time zone, which you are where you are located. So Kolkata, Chennai, and the service in Chennai. So for how many like, uh, so minutes or hours or day, so how it should run. So the script which are going to schedule, so how it should be run. So it should be decided by you. So whether it should be run for every minute, every hours, every daily, and then weekly. Likewise, you can go ahead and explore the options. Okay, as of now, I will just make a, for every minute, this particular script will run. Okay. 
so there is a thing called as holiday calendar okay so for an example if you are working in an organization us us organization this particular script it should not be run okay on the holidays okay so for example thanksgiving day it's went right so during those days so bot should uh, it should not run okay so because if you how much hours it is running so they have to pay for that okay so if you want to control those things we can create a calendar in a csv file and we can upload your okay do you, uh, like uh, so of how to like make a csv file like how to upload this i will make a separate video for this one okay so that you can uh, add your csv file of non working csv file which is uh, includes your non working holidays maybe holiday of us calendar or some calendar which are working so you can customize it so as of now i just uh, leave it as blank just click on add So you can see time trigger in a few minutes. Okay, we'll just wait for some time. Let me refresh it. I guess still now it start it not started running. Let me wait for a minute. Let me refresh here. Okay, perfect. I guess it started running. Let's go to the jobs. Yep, it's running, right? So time based triggers. So the script which uh, initially you have triggered, time trigger. So what this source indicates? The trigger name. Okay. What does this process indicate? The process name. So to vary to like differentiate that only, I just kept a different different names. Okay. So in the source, you can see something is is it is running because of triggers. Okay, using this you can find okay, time trigger. So you have a trigger which is nothing but time trigger, correct? So you got a pop up also. Okay. So if you want to disable, so just click on OK so that it will get success. If you want to disable this particular job, just click over here. Or else, what you can do, you can click on this read ads and then make it disable. Okay. In this way, you can disable your triggers. Okay. So your job also got run. Yeah, so this is the pretty much simple way how to make your time based trigger. So you can uh, make customize your trigger for a, like daily or hour or month. So likewise, you can select the option and you can categorize what actually you need for. Okay, so we, in next section, we can check how the queue based trigger will work. So I hope you have uh, learned uh, more things from the time based trigger now. Yeah, and one more thing I need to note over here actually. So we have all, we have uploading all the uh, workflow files uh, in this particular our repository, which is reboot your work. So you can see all the work files are uploaded here. You can go your files and you can download those files. So where you can find those files. So let me show you now once again. So if you go to our video, okay, you can click on see more here. Let me show here, show more, sorry. Just click on show more. Under show more, you can see the GitHub link which is provided. So it has each and every workflow files which you are showcasing in our video. So I hope this is also will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Have a good day.